Hello Blizzard, I really did enjoy playing Diablo 4, the open beta, but what I didn't like is HDR. Why do we have black level rays like from hell? I mean, I get it, the game is from hell in a good way, but why is HDR looking so bad? Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I try to keep this video as short as possible, but we have to talk about the HDR quality in Diablo 4 and unfortunately I have to say it's not on a great level. And the first thing that I noticed when I compared SDR with HDR was the HDR black level rays and it's not just a minor HDR black level rays, it's a lot. It ruins the whole picture. And this is very bad because Diablo 4 is a very dark game and it lives from contrast and so far SDR offers the better contrast because you have really nice very dark areas with yeah let's call it specular highlights in SDR but as soon as you turn on HDR everything is ruined because of the HDR black level rays. But of course we can do something about the HDR black level rays in Diablo as in many other games we can use actually or oh, we have two options if you own an LG OLED TV you have the option FTDA the fine tune dark area settings or the normal brightness setting what every TV has but there's one thing to consider when you use the FTDA settings the FTDA settings are just working with VRR enabled verbal refresh rate so you must enable this on the console on the Xbox Series X or S and also on the PlayStation 5 and of course on the PC to use this setting but this is my recommended way to get rid of HDR black level rays and all what you have to do then is change the FTDA, the fine tune dark area setting to minus 25 and you have no HDR black level rays in Diablo 4. And if you don't want to use the FTDA setting, the fine tune dark area setting, then try the brightness setting on your TV. But I have to admit I'm not a big fan of changing brightness on my TV because what I learned is the FTDA setting are really just changing or is really just changing the lower end from the gamma to eliminate HDR black level rays, but the brightness setting on a TV is changing yeah, even the midtones from the gamma. That means the whole picture is getting darker and that is something what you don't want. And if I changed my brightness on my LG CX or the G2 to 39, I haven't had any HDR black level rays in the game. Not as far as I can tell. And for owner from different TVs, a very good way to test actually um, HDR black level rays in Diablo 4 is the main screen of the game because on the corners you shouldn't have any elevated black levels. It should be pitch black and yeah, just decrease the brightness in this or on the main menu unless you can't see any elevated black levels. And then that's the setting you should play the game with. And now let's take a quick look on the HDR settings what we have in the game. And yes, we have HDR settings in the game. That means we have no HDR system level calibration support on the console. And I'm very sure the same counts for the PC as well. But that's not a big problem because the settings what we have in the game are working actually quite well. But I have to admit, I had a very hard time to analyze the maximum peak brightness in the game. Let's start with the black point setting and I decreased this setting to the lowest level and I I, I have to say I haven't had any black level crush at least I couldn't see anything so this might change if you're not using an OLED TV so make sure you set this up in the correct way but again I decreased it to zero and I couldn't see any problem. Let's jump to the white point setting and let's talk about brightness setting a little bit later. White point is changing the maximum peak brightness in specular highlights. But again, I had a very hard time to analyze those very tiny objects. But what I found is the white point slider, it appears to me it's not doing exactly what it is supposed to do because with setting 1000, which I think or I'm assuming right now is 1000 nits and I left it at this setting or at this uh, value because I like to match my LG G2 with 1000 nits but in all these specular highlights what I measured I had actually less than 1000 nits so right now I'm just assuming because again I couldn't find any very very bright big objects to analyze but right now it appears to me that 1000 nits in the game is less on the TV. 
And now let's talk about the brightness setting and 250 is actually a very good value in my opinion. But again, the game is a very dark game, but we need to keep this in mind. I played in a complete dark room when I tested the game and it was actually not too bad. I played, of course, with HGHG enabled because I like HGHG. Dynamic tone mapping on was already a little bit too high in my opinion, but still manageable for me. But what I found is when you increase the brightness setting, let's say from 250 to let's say 500, if you're going crazy, then you also change the maximum peak brightness in specular highlights. And this is something what I don't want to see because the maximum peak brightness should be always be the same. It shouldn't change when I'm just changing the brightness, which I'm assuming is yeah, the paper white setting here in this game. But again, paper white setting or brightness setting, whatever you want to call it, it's up to you. 250, it's actually a not too bad setting in my opinion, but maybe you find it too dark. So just go for it, increase it. So when it comes to comparing HDR10 with Dolby Vision, and of course I played the game in Dolby Vision on the Xbox Series X, I had also a very hard time because always when you progress in the game and I jumped back to HDR10 or whatever, I was in a different level. So it was very hard for me actually to compare the exact same level. So that's why I couldn't do a proper HDR versus Dolby Vision comparison. But what I have seen with my, with my own eyes is that there is not much of a difference because this game doesn't support Dolby Vision natively. So there is not much of a difference. So you shouldn't expect any difference. What I found is HGHG as always gives you the most accurate HDR picture. But if you think the game is too dark for you, then just give it a try. Enable dynamic tone mapping on. I would not recommend to play this game with dynamic tone mapping off. Okay, my friends, so that's it for Diablo 4 and HDR analysis. And yeah, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. Not because we have terrible HDR black level rays. I mean, we have this in so many games, unfortunately, but we can get rid of it with the fine tuned dark area settings in most of the cases. And here, minus 25 is actually a very good value to have a, a proper contrast, but still, I think the specular highlights are not really specular. They can, can be more, to be very honest. I, I think I need to compare this with Diablo 3 on the PlayStation 5 and the HDR always on option because I found the last time when I played this and I know it's fake HDR, don't get me wrong, but with dynamic tone mapping on, you have actually almost around 600, 700 candela on specular highlights and it looks so much better than Diablo 4 even with fake HDR. So Blizzard, you have a lot of work to do. And I'm not talking about the technical issues, what I expected, because I'm very sure they will be fixed until the release or till the release, hopefully at least. But HDR, I have a very bad feeling actually, because I'm not quite sure if they're going to fix any of the issues. Okay, my friends, so that's it for this very quick video. HDR in Diablo 4, again, I'm not impressed, but doesn't matter because I'm looking forward for the full release and I'm looking for players in Australia to play this game in co-op. I'm really looking forward to do this. So please PM me, put something in the comment section. I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to have some company when I'm playing the campaign. Anyway, so that's it for me. That's it for my video. Thank you very much again for watching me. I see you guys next time. Bye.